in combat you will get punched in the face. You got to punch people in the face in training. And I don't mean literally, but I mean hard, realistic, challenging, disciplined training. It, it's vitally important to train as if you're going into a fight. If you're doing an attack and when that attack is over, instead of consolidating it and just going administratively off the objective, I think you do a tactical withdrawal. Everything you do, the way you're gonna fight, you've got to train. You go in with the skills necessary, the confidence in your training, the confidence in each other, and the confidence in your leadership. If you have those four things, a Marine Rifleman is, is, is indestructible. I think it's critically, critically important that every Marine in the Marine Corps understands how important they are and how they, how they fit into this great war fighting machine called a MAGTAF. Every single MOS in the Marine Corps, being good at what they do is critically important because every, somebody is depending on you. You may not see it at the time, but administrator, if my pay is screwed up, my mind is on other things besides focused on what I need to do. When I go into a fight, I've got food that was fed to me or supplied to me by either a supply Marine or a food service Marine that keeps me charged and ready to go. My weapon is being taken care of by an armor. I've got ammo tech supplying me with the ammo that I need to be proficient. I've got all these other MOSs, truck drivers, supply personnel, aviators. I've got mechanics and maintainers who work on the aircraft that bring me supplies, who provide me close air support, and or who may even, if I'm wounded, get me out of the fight and save my life. So it's critical that every single Marine in the Marine Corps understand that it's vitally important that they do their job to the utmost of their ability because somebody somewhere is depending on them. I believe Marine Corps training separates us from other services. And I don't necessarily mean our rifle skills or maybe our MOS skills or our, our, our motor transport operating skills. First and foremost is the camaraderie and the spirit of core that we stress into being a Marine. There's a lot of people that can drive a truck. There's a lot of people that can shoot a weapon. There's a lot of people that can provide administrative support. There's a lot of people that can hand out ammo. But the difference is what makes a Marine successful is a Marine Corps ammo tech will not fail. They will figure out a way to get that ammo forward if they know that a Marine is counting on it. The difference between a motor transport driver and a Marine Corps is they will drive through fire, they will drive through bad weather, it don't matter. If they know that somebody forward needs them, they will figure it out. As long as we keep instilling that same Esprit de Corps and heart and piss and vinegar into our Marines, the Marine Corps is in great hands. I would like to say to all the Marines out there that if you have an NCO or a leader or, or a commission officer who is challenging you, who is, who is pushing you, who is, who is demanding of you, who is making you do something over and over or something that may seem repetitive and repetitious or may seem boring and dull, if they are doing that, then, then I would say you're, you're pretty fortunate. Because a good commander, a good leader, is going to understand that the best form of troop welfare is bringing you back alive.